Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the new exam pattern of CSWIP 3.1. So contents of these videos is the types of CSWIP welding inspection certification scheme. So I'll discuss about the different uh, CSWIP welding inspector certificates, uh, which is provided by CSWIP. Then we'll discuss about the new exam pattern and from which date it is effective from. Then we'll discuss the passing marks, period of validity of CSWIP exam. Then we'll discuss the eligibility for the exam. What is the eligibility criteria for the exam? Then what is the procedure for mature candidates? Then what will be the procedure for unsuccessful candidates? Then what are the criteria for five year renewal and 10 year re renewal? So we'll discuss all these things in today's video. Before starting this video, let me give you a brief introduction of myself. My name is Sandeep Anand. I am a mechanical engineer and I am having 14 plus years working experience. And my hobby is to share my knowledge. I share my knowledge through my website and through my YouTube channel. So friends, if you like my initiative or if you want to support my initiative, you can join my channel by pressing the join button and by paying a very small amount so you can financially support my initiative. So friends, CSWIP provides three types of welding certification certificates. First one is the 3.0 that is visual welding inspector certificate. Second one is 3.1 that is welding inspector and Third one is the 3.2 senior welding inspector. So there are two variants of 3.2 that is 3.2.1 that is senior welding inspector without radiographic in interpretation. And the second variant is 3.2.2. This is senior welding inspector with radiographic interpretation. So the most common among these courses is the 3.1 that is welding inspector course and most of the candidates choose this certification exam. So CSWIP has updated their exam pattern for 3.1 welding inspector exam and this update has been made or it is effective from the June 2024. So from June 2024 new exam pattern is valid. Now the new exam pattern contains three paper that is theory part one and in theory part one they will ask questions related to welding inspection theory and basically the number of questions will be 80. So 80 multiple choice questions will be there. Objective type questions will be there and the time allotted is two hours. Two hours time has been given. The second part theory part is part two. So there are two theory parts, theory part one and theory part two. In part two, the questions will be related to WPS and welder certifications. And this part will contain 40 questions. That is also multiple choice or objective type of questions. And the time allotted for part two is one hour and 30 minutes. That is 90 minutes. The third part is the practical one. So practical one paper will be known as practical part one and in practical part one you have to do the inspection of eight spe examination specimens specimen to a code and that code will be provided in the exam so time allotted the for the practical is one hour and 30 minutes that is 90 minutes so you have two theory part and one practical part there is a conflict in theory part one the time allotted which is given in the official document of CSWIP 3.1 is two hours and one official document one more official document they have released on their website and that document is the basically comparison between the old old pattern and new pattern and in that they have mentioned two hours and 30 minutes for theory part one so there is a conflict but i tried to uh, bring clarity by uh, sending an email to them and they replied that two hours is the time allotted for theory part one. So you have two theory part and one practical part as per the new exam pattern means they have reduced the number of papers that is a good sign. Now passing marks, passing marks is 70% and you have to bring 70% in all part in each part means for theory part one you have you need 70 percent minimum in theory part two you need 70 percent minimum and in practical part one also you need 70 percent so 70 percent in each paper you need for passing now the eligibility criteria so friends normal eligibility eligibility criteria is three years experience if you have gained three years experience in welding inspection then you are eligible for writing or taking the CSWIP 3.1 exam many people have 
lots of confusion means they ask that sir i have done iti i have done diploma i have done btech i am a welder can i go for cc 3.1 exam so your you know certificate or your educational background doesn't matter only thing which matters is the experience if you have 3 years of experience you can take this exam either you are a btech engineer either you are a diploma engineer either you are a iti or you are a welder means anybody can write this or take this exam if they have 3 years of experience so there are some other options also if you have taken cc visual welding inspector exam then two years of experience is only required and if you have done cc welding instructor or cc welding foreman exam uh, then only one year of experience is required now suppose for mature candidate so for mature candidate formal training prior to exam is not required but i will recommend everybody to do the training so for mature training who are having 10 years of experience more than 10 years of continuous experience in welding inspection they will be called as a mature candidate and they can directly write the exam without formal training and there is one more definition for mature candidate that is any candidate who hold an international welding inspector basic level diploma with two years of continuous experience they will also be called as mature candidate now suppose you fail so if you fail in one subject or if you fail in two subject or you fail in all subject so that will be called as unsuccessful candidate so you will be given a chance of retest a chance of retest will be given and that retest you have to write or only on the part of the examination where you have not succeeded means suppose if you have not succeeded in theory part 1 so you have to rewrite the theory part 1 exam only not all Suppose if you are fail in practical part 1, then you have to write the practical part 1 only. So the subject in which you have failed, that subject only you have to write in the retest. And the retest shall be completed within one year of the initial exam. Within one year, if you fail to write that exam in within one year, then you will have to take the complete course. And the waiting period means within one year you have to write the retest exam but not within the 30 days of the previous examination means after 30 days before one year you have to write your retest exam and suppose if you are fail in retest also then unsuccessful retest candidates will have to write the complete exam means they will have to the preparation course they will have to take the full approved course then they will have to write the complete exam now uh, Suppose if you are successful and you uh, you are pass in CC 3.1 exam, exam, then that certificate will be valid for five years. Your certificate will be valid for five years, and after five years, you will have to uh, go for a five-year renewal program. And that five-year uh, first five-year renewal program will need only proof of experience. Means with proof of experience, you will your certificate will be extended for further next five years. And after 10 years, you will have to write a recertification exam. You will have to take a recertification exam for 10 year renewal. So we'll discuss about this five year and 10 year a bit more later in this slide. First, uh, okay, we'll discuss now itself. So in five year renewal, you have to show that you are still competent to do the welding inspection and that you can show by providing evidence of continuous work activity means you have to fill a logbook then you have to show that you are up to date with the welding technology and finally you have to prove that your eyesight is also as per the their requirement so with this you can get five year renewal but for 10 year renewal exam you will have to take a retest exam and that retest exam will contain one paper that is multiple choice general paper and one practical paper so with this you can do your 10 year renewal exam so friends with hope, with this i think uh, i have cleared the new updated exam pattern of cc 3.1 examination friends if you have any further question please do write in the comment box. Thank you very much.